A lot of people will be heading outside this weekend. There are many egg hunts and various Easter activities kicking off, including one with a goal that is twofold. The annual Ukrainian Easter Egg Festival at St. Michael's and St. George's Ukrainian Orthodox Church started years ago, but this year all that is unfolding in Ukraine is top of mind for the people at the church and they're trying to help out. Here to share a preview of the event are Jackie and Julie Pollock. Sisters yeah. who are members right, of right. the church and a sisterhood at the yes. church. Welcome. Yes. Thank you Thank for you joining very us. Much. Thanks for having us. You said that you've been attending this egg festival for, for years and years since you were little girls. What can people expect? Yes, and the event right. is tomorrow, I want to point out. So this is, is more of a right. preview. Yes, it is. Tomorrow from 11 to 2. Mm -hmm. And yes, this Easter egg festival has been going on really all of our lives because we grew up at this church. <laughs> and uh, it's the, the, the women of our church have been making, mainly the women, some of the men also, but mainly the women of our church have been ma making Ukrainian Easter eggs, which are called pisanke. Um, I'm not going to try to repeat that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a little it com <laughs> comes from the Ukrainian word pisata, which means okay. to write. Okay. And so the Ukrainian Easter eggs are written and uh, so they're, as you can see, they're, they're uh, very intricately written uh, on the, on, these are raw eggs. They are gorgeous. Okay, and, and Jackie, mm. you're going to demonstrate for us how the process of making one of these, because right. like you said, it's so detailed. Right, Yes. and so the way the, the, the process is that it's, uh, it started on a, on a real raw egg, mm -hmm. and it's, it's similar to the, the batik method. Um, like on, on a, a cloth okay. batik, okay. where it starts on a raw egg, and uh, as you can see, she's using a, a stylus, which has uh, hot wax in it, okay. and she's covering up in wax, which she wants to remain white. Then it will, the egg will go through a series of different dye colors, mm -hmm. and as it goes into each dye, she'll cover up it with wax again what she wants to remain that color. Okay. Starting from lightest to darkest. Wow. So I, as you can see, there's a there's just a, a sample here of the egg as it has gone into each color. So what's the time frame? How long does to make one of these really oh, you know layered multicolored well, eggs? Right. How long can that take <laughs> from a, a, an expert like yourself? <laughs> well, for a very simple egg, might take an hour or two, and one of the you know one of the more complicated eggs might take all day. Wow. Yeah. And these will be on display for sale? These will be on, like that on display and for sale tomorrow. Um, it's, it, it, we have, we have different, you know, we have different ladies at the church that are, that are making them. Mm -hmm. And um, we have, we have people that have been collectors that have been coming to our, our, our sale for many years and sometimes generations of, of a family have been coming and collecting, collecting the eggs. And of course, of course, we also have been have been collecting, <laughs> collecting the, yourselves, the collecting ourselves. Right. And mm -hmm. they're beautiful. This is an annual tradition. But obviously, yeah. this year, with all that's happening in Ukraine, mm -hmm. hearts are heavy with what we're seeing unfold over there. Mm -hmm. You, a lot of people, including yourselves, have family connections yes. um, in, in Ukraine, and also a, a church. You have a sister church there. Tell us about that. Yes. Um, well, I think people have all heard about the um, atrocities that happened in Bucha mm -hmm. um, last week. And the church in Bucha is our sister parish. And um, so our parish has, um, you know, helped the f raise funds for them over the years in building their church. And so, of course, we are devastated by what has happened there. And so um, at the festival, we will have a special display set up um, to give people information and then also to raise money to, to help the people in Bucha. Yeah, definitely an important event. Always right. important to, have, to get together and have this tradition, right, but right, with all that's unfolding. Right. And then in addition, uh, we'll, be, we'll be raising funds for, for various humanitarian aid causes for Ukraine at the festival. All right. Well, yeah. we want to share people again. It's <laughs> tomorrow from 11 to 2, and yes, this is right. at your church that's located. Right. Uh, there it is on the screen. It's at the St. Michael's right. and St. George's Ukrainian Orthodox Church Hall. Uh, mm. That is located in northeast Minneapolis. Mm. Admission is free. So there you go. I hope you have a wonderful turnout. Thank I'm glad you. you're going to have some you. good weather for the <laughs> event, so that'll make <laughs> right. things a little bit easier, right. like getting in and out. Yeah. And uh, I want to give credit to our, our floor directors and the people in the studio <laughs> who were very very concerned <laughs> rolling this table with all these delicate uh, eggs on it uh, right. for this segment. So right. thank you, Jackie and Julie. We appreciate oh, it. Thank you for thank having you very us. much. Our pleasure. Yeah. Uh, mm. Jennifer, I wish you were here to see up close how beautiful <laughs> and how talented these ladies are.
uh, over to you, but I'm so glad they're going to have a nice weekend because this is not the only egg event and egg hunt uh, happening this weekend. There are lots going on.